I'm just swimming through this school of shiny fish. Oh look, it's a box jellyfish. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> ah, no, I'm an Australian at the Anyway, welcome to virtual <laughs> afternoon tea, people. And um, today's theme, if you couldn't tell already, is under the sea. Yep. And you can see we are under the I sea. Under the sea, yeah. Uh, except for Jaden, he kind of fell in with his clothes on, but... Yeah. He's under the sea, just... He's grounded. Anyway, um, I guess we should just jump straight in. But we're already Get in. It? <laughs> jump <Yeah>. straight in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys... Thanks, Zach. Support you. Okay, let's start with our um memes, shall we? Okay, so this one is two thousand leagues under the sea. Twenty thousand. Um, oh yeah, twenty. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. That's many more times <laughs> the diameter of the earth. That's a very oh, long I number. See. Eight point seven one oh nine seven five nine four. To the other side, not just at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. So, I guess back then they didn't really know how deep the ocean was. Yeah. So they kind of just how guessed wide the world was. how. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. they just took a guess, and it turned out to be a little bit off, just a bit, just slightly off. Just slightly but anyway, off. we'll go to our next one. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Under the That's seat. terrible. I guess we have oh, a plastic man. book, like. That would be a very thick book, Zach. Did you know that there are more airplanes in oceans than submarines in the sky? Really? No way. I would have thought there would be a lot of submarines that, you know, sunk into the sky. Could it be called sinking or rising? Floating. Rose into the sky. But floating is generally sounds like a good thing, sunk sounds like a bad thing, so. Mm. Yeah, I guess. They reverse sunk. <laughs> oh, I love this one. This one's so good. <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> face, though. <laughs> Dolph just wants to play it, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one. <laughs> well, well, crabs obviously sing, right? I know, right? Haven't you heard of it? Yeah. They even have their own percussion on hand. They do the opposite of that. <laughs> Zach, why isn't it working? Work on those skills, Zach. See, it works. Alright, we'll go next me. That's a good point. That is really good. <laughs> that one's actually good. Yeah. A little bit sandy. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Those fish. Oh, man. Those are some interesting fish. Yes. Uh, can relate. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's about the same facial expression that you see when people step on Lego. Yeah, it's actually quite plain. plain. Well, yeah, but it's just like that. Ah! Yeah. When you find out the Titanic sank with approximately 500 crowns of cheesecake. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to go get that cheesecake back. <laughs> what is that? That is it's weird. Like a scoop of bike. That's pretty cool. I want cool. one, but like, it's a wow! Bike. Wonder who invented that? Someone who can't see. Pounds of cheesecake. That sounds good. Okay, so I think that ends our memes. Calvin, is that the last of our memes? Yes. Okay. 
Thank you. Now we cool. have. So now we have um, videos. So we have a video to show everyone. So we can start that. Just give me one second. You got to find the right spot to start it from. Yes, I did. And it's not working. Just click it. Oh, well, click exactly. it. Just click, click it. Click it. Here's a giant Whoa. Pacific octopus in Whoa. an equally giant aquarium tank. That's cool. Okay, that's all great for mom and feeling this real life version of Jaws isn't going to be pretty. And so the shark, um, the, the shark, uh, boy, am I glad I didn't have a bet down on this matchup. That's right. This is what happened. The giant Pacific octopus, as seen here in this amazing, so close you feel like you might get squashed footage, was making short work of the shark in the tank. Dogfish carcasses kept showing up at the bottom of the tank. What you're seeing, this footage, was taken to see what was doing in these supposedly invincible predators. The aquarium staff learned something new about the octopi. There was a danger in the tank, all right, but it was all to the sharks. That's one way to defend yourself from a predator. Eliminate them. Well, they're not wrong there. If it's dead, it can't eat you. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, whenever I go diving now, I just take like an entire tank of octopi with me. To protect you? Yeah. Just like, like sling the octopi around. Yeah. To pull it out of like a special pocket in my wetsuit and throw it at the shark. Yeah, and they'll be big enough to attack said shark. But it didn't say what size. So they'll fit in your <laughs> pocket. didn't say there was a giant, size. Giant, Maybe it was a giant, giant octopus. octopus. Yeah. You can You're gonna keep a giant it. octopus in a pouch. No, no, no. What do you have? Oh, no, put it in a Pokeball. He also has a. Oh, I oh, choose. Man. Octopi, that, I that. choose you! No, just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say you could have a shrink ray and then a that would anti shrink too. ray. You could have a manta ray. But... And a stingray. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, next now video. Then, what do we got next? <laughs> We know more about some other planets than the deep sea, but scientists at places like the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute are sending eyes into the darkness in the form of remotely operated submersibles, beaming back some amazingly odd images. The green blobs inside the barrel eye fish's transparent skull are actually its eyes, or two tiny spacemen. Those tubular eyes rotate 90 degrees upward to look for the silhouettes of prey and point forward for feeding. Those two spots near its mouth are actually scent receptors, similar to our nostrils. Just a handful of anglerfish have ever been captured on video. They fish for prey using a glowing lure filled with luminescent symbiotic bacteria. The pale dots on their body are pressure sensors used to sense movement in the pitch darkness. And those teeth can probably tell you what happens next. Little is known about these deep sea comb jellies. Their iridescence is only visible under these bright lights. It comes from tiny pulsing hair-like cilia that propel it through the water. These jellies are nearly invisible in the dark depths where they live, though, since Nearly all red light has been filtered out by the water. Humboldt squid can measure up to six feet in length and a hundred pounds. They hunt in massive schools, flashing red and white with color-changing cells, capturing fish in their barbed tentacles and shredding them with their sharp beak. But even these speedy predators can get startled, squirting ink as a diversion to escape. The vampire squid is not a squid at all, and it's also not a vampire. They eat mostly marine snow, a mixture of dead bodies, poop, and gelatinous snot-type stuff that rains down from the shallow ocean above. Correct. Now I've lost my appetite. The viperfish's teeth are so big that they can't even fit in its mouth. It gives it a pretty ferocious and also pretty ridiculous appearance. But who knows? Maybe they're just smiling. This next, um, this uh, is apparently a squid. Or, I, I don't, um, uh, let, let's 
let's move on. Since longer wavelengths of light are filtered out by the water, most creatures in the deep sea have evolved to not see red, except the loose jaw, which uses the glowing patches beneath its eyes like their very own night vision goggles. Earth's oceans are kind of like the internet. The deeper you go, the weirder it gets. Stay curious. There's some pretty cool deep yeah. sea creatures out there. That was pretty weird. It was weird. Um, I think there's squid, I'm... like one to two meters. That's massive. Yeah. That's taller than us. Big calamari though. Big oh yeah. Can you imagine like a calamari ring the size of a steering wheel? How good would that be? It might be hard to eat. Just what? No. From the sheets. Like, not that you can't eat all of it, but like cooking it and everything. Would Just get a giant it. pot of oil. Yeah, but like, you've seen at Centurus that have the massive pots of oil. That would oh, be big so enough. We go to and dump we the squid, dump in, squid in, in there. in there, churro right. oil. <laughs> yep, yep, okay. Do I have anything else, Calvin? Yep. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's roll. Ooh. Yeah, and the dog was so chill about it too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alrighty. Oh, okay, we're well, moving on to our Menza. Oh, yes. No. 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 PowerPoint. Here we go. Oh. Uh, no, back to fishy. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're doing the Menza. It is time for our Menza, and guys, you know, like today, especially uh, because it's an under the sea thing. We hope you really do have a whale of a time. 
That's mine. That is Calvin's. He made it. Pretty cool. He sewed it so that when we have pillow fights, you can just like... That's, that's me. That's why I cut off the eyes um, because they would hurt people when I hit them with... Okay. The... Well, oh look, we have another well. person. Joining More us. competition! Okay, but also we have our tiny whales as usual, so that you can have a whale of a time. Oh gosh. In our Mensa. So, here we go. And there we go. Alright, everybody can start get cracking at that. And um, we should get the chat up so people can start talking to us. Yes. And our whale timer is finished. So, Michaela, what are the scores? Whale, Zach. Oh gosh. That so was your one, but you forgot to do it, so I just did it for you. Um, in first place, with five out of six, we have Abby. In second place, with three out of six, we have Esther. And in third place, we, with one out of six, we have Erin. And in fourth place, we yeah. have us because we literally couldn't work any of them out until we looked. Um, <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, good job, guys. Those ones were really tricky. Um, let's go through the answers for anybody who is interested. So in that one, out. the first Calvin? one is for in policy, yeah, Cal foreign is policy. It, is it still up? Yeah. Anyone get that? Yeah. Someone got it. Yes, got foreign it. policy. Foreign policy. Foreign policy. You should say it fast. Foreign policy. Number two is foreign party policy. line because it's a line of parties. Thus, it's a party line. Number three I is a covered like wagon. Line, right? Covered wagon. You used to have the white top on top of the wagon, kind of look cartoony. And then um, four is Back to the Future because it's got a backwards two. Then tomorrow is in the future. So Back to the Future. Uh, that was pretty complex. Number five is midwife, because you, you can see the arrow is halfway through the wife, midwife. Also, that is someone who deals with babies who are being born. And then no the way. last one is... Offsides. Offsides. Offside. Offside. No, literally. Yeah. It says offsides, the yeah. answer sheet. It says yeah. offsides. Yeah, Jason. Offside would be the correct... Term. Offsides. Know, we totally know what that means, but yeah, let's move on. Esther knows what it means. So she, she's, I think she's well, frozen. She's, she got it Esther! Right. She's frozen. But so yeah. did Abby. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, Anyways, Alright, continuing on, we do have another Next game. It's called, Today. um... It's called... Wait! Calvin's gonna... Right. Whoa, we still got our Mensa. What's going on? Uh, here we go. It's called... Fact or Fishy. Yeah. Where it's all a bit fishy. The game... Yes, it is a fishy-themed Fact or Fishy. Because we're under the sea, so it's a bit fishy. Uh, uh, the game where truth matters. Yes. Look at that beautiful... Sea an anemone. An anemone. An an anemone. 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 like an anemone. 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 Anyway, let's get started. So, our first fact or fishy is oceans cover 75% of the Earth's surface. True or false. Is Wave. this true or is it false? Wave your hands. Wave your hands if you wish to vote. Okay, what is what do you think? Fact or fishy? You can unmute yourself. You can fact. unmute yourself. Fact? Esther is guessing fact. Abby, what are you guessing? 
Ah, uh, okay, back. Huh? Back? 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 Are you sure about that? No. Second. <laughs> okay. Second. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anyway, you have the answer. Well, this is indeed fishy. Oceans cover seventy-one percent of the Earth's surface. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's mean. Uh, you were wrong. I didn't know. Oh man. Anyway, we'll move on to our question two, two, which is global warming yeah, gate evaporated. Anyway, question two. Ninety-four percent of the Earth's living species exist within the oceans. Fact or fishy? Probably ninety-three percent. Um, I'll go fact. Fact, Esther. I'll go fishy. Okay. Abby got that one. Thank you. Jay. That is a fact. Very good. Oh, I need to write the scores. So Abby is on one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question three. According to the ocean's surface, man has explored only ten percent of Not Earth's Not the ocean. ocean's surface. It's oh, oh, the ocean's, ocean's surface. Surface. <laughs> surface. Well, I'm sorry that that slide is really, really small and far Look away. Look at the big screen. Jane, There's a phone in front of it. I can't see it. You can't it. see it. <laughs> anyway. According to the ocean the service, um, man has explored only 10% 10 10 of, of Earth's, Earth's oceans. oceans. Fact or fishy? Fact. <laughs> Esther? Fact. It's less. You're both wrong. Less than five percent. It's less than five percent. That was indeed a fishy fact. Have Hand up if you have ever thrown a starfish like a ninja star. Yeah, we have it working. This is part code. Good. I don't know if I said it wrong. Got a matter park? I don't know. Um, I said it wrong, didn't I? Uh, Abby, how is it pronounced? Gonna matter. Gonna matter. Okay, whatever. There's a park there and um has a little beach and you can dig up starfish there. Change and the screen. Yeah, you can throw them like ninja stars and it actually works. Yes. I think everyone on the call currently has been to that park. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. By the way, the creator of this artwork was Elisha. He really wanted to make us a 3D sea creature. Oh, look, he's eating your fish. No, the fish are just okay, already. hugging. All right, working. let's see if it works this time. Let's go to question four. <clears throat> oh, look at what. Okay. Earth's longest chain of mountains, the mid-ocean ridge, is almost entirely beneath the ocean, stretching across a distance of 10,000 10, kilometers. Fact or fishy? Fishy. Abby calls fishy. I have uh, a fact. Ooh, we have a fact from Esther. Shall we just... Kayla, what is it? Jaden, read the answer. Okay, Jaden. So, Abby, do you reckon... what? Why do you reckon it's fishy? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Just took a guess. Alright, fair enough. Um, it is fishy because it stretches across a distance of 65,000 kilometers. Oh my gosh. That wow. is long. That's a very 65, long. 65,000. That's really... That's like as many kilometers as you put on your car in a year. Wow. So wow. if you drove across the ridge, that would be... For a year. worth of driving. Yes. Yep. Whoa. Okay. As someone who drives a lot. <laughs> Let's have a look at the next question. Alright, question five. No way. <coughs> there are more historic artifacts under the sea than in all of the world's museums. Okay, this is kind of hard because like, how do you know that they're there? You're not going to like, collect them. Because they can't pick them up. Alright. Fact or fishy? Fishy. Esther? Fishy. Fishy. Okay. 
Uh, question five is in fact a fact. You just made that sound really confusing. It is a fact. It's it definitely a fact. Well, I guess that All goes right. back to our meme about more Next ships question. than submarines. Yeah. More airplanes than submarines, yes. What? 45% of our planet's Airplane. oxygen is produced by fish. Oh, fishy, because I think it's more than that. Okay, Esther? Fishy? Yeah, you do. That's fine, it is fishy because it's thought that between 70 and 80 percent of the oxygen we breathe is produced by marine plants nearly all of which are marine algae so algae is good guys yes you let it grow we, in your pond you rest. should let it grow in your ponds because then you'll have more oxygen near your house yep all we right. should start a trend of everyone no, writing little algae really <laughs> Everybody has little. Question food. seven. Fact. It's possible to find rivers and lakes beneath the ocean. That's a fact? Uh, I mean, she sounded pretty confident. So, <laughs> fact. <laughs> Jaden. Um, it is in, it is true. When it's salt it's water, a fact, Jaden, you say yes, it's a fact. It's a fact. When salt water and hydrogen sulfide combine, it becomes denser than the rest of the water around it, enabling it to form a lake or river that flows beneath the sea. Wow. That's cool. So you can go swimming under the sea. You mean you can go swimming in a river under the sea? Because swimming under the sea is like what you normally do if you go dark. Okay. Next uh, question. Why don't you go to what I say? Question eight. Ready? The specific ocean. <laughs> I'm kidding. The Pacific Ocean is the world's largest ocean and contains around. 25,000 islands. Abby, is that Google up? Hmm? Are you on Google? Nope. Hmm. Fact or fishy? Fishy? That's the guess is fishy? Yeah, I think it's fishy. Abby guesses fishy too. Alright. It is? A fact. Hmm. That's a lot of islands. That is a lot of islands. That's so many. Can I have one? Can you have one? <laughs> you could like buy one. That, that's too much. I mean, you have to like buy an airplane to fly to it and everything. No. So you ask if you can have one, and then I say you could buy one, and you're like, nah. I don't have that kind of money. Alright. Let's Do continue I have on. Question nine. Sharks can smell a single drop of blood among a million drops of water as much as a thousand feet away. Fact, I think. That's around three Abby guesses meters, right? Fact. Esther fishy. is guessing fishy. And Jane, it is a fact. Yep, it's a fact. I already knew that one. Because when we studied biology, sharks was a very exciting part of what we studied. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, uh, question sadly, two. Mom and watch Jaws, so. Da, da, da. The loudest beast in the sea <laughs> is the singing whale, which can be heard up to 500 kilometers away. That's a long way away. That is a long way away. 500 k's. What would be 500 k's from here, Jay? Um, that street pole that's 500 k's from here. You remember that one? Oh, yeah, 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 that one. That exact one that's like exactly 500 k's from exactly. here. Exactly. Alright, so do we vote fact or fishy? Fishy? Esther's yeah, going fishy. fishy. Abby's going what? Why do you think it's fishy? fishy? Why is it fishy? Because a whale's a mammal with a fish. 
<laughs> it says the loudest beast in the sea. It does not say fish. Anyway, James, no, would you like to um, tell us? It's actually the Caribbean snapping shrimp. And tell us more about the Caribbean. It boasts asymmetrical claws, the larger of which it snaps to create a special kind of high pressure bubble. The bubble is so loud um, that it can kill nearby fish from the shock of the sound. Oh, yeah. I saw, I it's 218 decibels is louder than a space shuttle launch or a battleship firing all its guns at once. Whoa. So a single gunshot is 90 decibels. I think so. Wow. Um, very you can learn about the snapping shrimp at Boston's New England Aquarium. I don't think I need to go. <laughs> but guys. Who else is coming to Boston? <laughs> Let's go. During a pandemic. I mean, that's, a, that's very yep. interesting. Okay. Next question is the I can't read that. Okay, what does that say? Okra or okra? Ochre. Ochre. The ochre sea star. I cannot read that. Is a ravenous creature that can rip open shells. Oh, it is up there. Fact. 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 Okay, we've got two facts. Let's go. What is it? It is a fact. Yes. The Oka Sea Star is a ravenous creature that can rip open shells and push its stomach out through its own mouth to smother and digest its prey. Even against mussels, which can clamp themselves tight, this starfish needs only the smallest opening to squish its stomach in, into it and start dissolving the mussel. Oh, yeah. With its deadly digestive I juices. I don't think we needed the whole <laughs> explanation, Jay, but thanks. Well, you know, when a frog eats something that's toxic, it just vomits its stomach out and then scrapes it empty with its feet. So, like, that's... That's that pretty thing. cool. That's not relevant at all. But See, this is what happens when you're homeschooled. You just know these random weird facts. Uh, anyway. Next. <laughs> The crow nose, oh wait. Cow, cow nose rays <laughs> hey, travel in far away. schools I see it. as I can read large as a thousand story. strong. I can story. Given that they can reach three feet there. wide and 25 pounds each, that's one beefy stamp. Hey, um, oh, yeah, I can read it now. Fact or fishy? Wow. Fishy. Fishy from Yeah, Esther. I reckon it's fishy too. Fishy from Fishy. It is a? It's fat. That is it's actually not. the explanation. That's 10, oh, 10,000 10, strong. Yeah. Look at that. No way. They're like almost oh, a meter wide. And there's like 10,000 in school. The schools. Wait, so it was fishy? Yes, it was fishy, oh, okay. but it was a bigger number. Yeah. 10,000. 10,000. And then like one meter across. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty big. That's that's scary. I would not want to be there when yeah. they are kind of doing this. You know, if Steve Irwin was killed by a stingray. And you... Imagine being among 10,000. All right. Next. Question 13. Fox jellyfish, like this beautiful specimen right here, are the most popular creature at the Maritime Aquarium in Norwalk, Connecticut. 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 True or false? Fact or fishy? Either false. one. False. Oh, fishy. Fishy. Whatever. Is it false or fishy? Fishy. Fishy from both. Okay. Jaden? Um... That's true, but if you can guess what it is, we'll give you five points. Do they have like seals or something? Nope. Esther, your guess? Sharks? Nope. Uh, it's actually meerkats. <laughs> yep, the Maritime <laughs> Aquarium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> meerkats. Uh, yeah. They, they have, um... They have meerkats in an aquarium. All right, next. Nope. Wait, did you get it right? Yeah, they got it right. They got it right. Fishy. Oh, that's a fishy. I have it. 
Yeah, well, it's easier than it's like, yeah, sure. It's Question fun. 14. Jaden, you read that. There's a lot of words in there. <laughs> Hit it, bro. Um, the blue whale is the largest known animal ever to have lived on sea or land. Bigger than even the biggest dinosaur, it can reach more than 33 meters in length and weigh as much as 30 adult elephants. With a heart the size of a large pig, the whale's blood vessels are so large that a full grown trout could swim through them. To sustain its bulk, the blue whale must consume up to four tons of krill per day. Is this fact or fishy? There's like so many facts in that that that's that's a bit hard. Um, fact, fact, fact. That's actually fishy. What? Its heart is the size of a Volkswagen. Are you serious? You, you're talking about blood vessels that are big enough for a full-grown trout to swim through, yet its heart is the size of a large pig's. No, yeah. No, the heart is the size of a large, large pig, pig, like probably half of this table. Of yeah, well, even so, how but is that going to pump enough of blood to go through vessels that the traps can swim through? 33 meters, that's huge. Huge. Right, as long as right. Like Calvin, buses. go. This is our last question. Question 14. Stories of sea Wait, serpents this, are true. This is not the last question. Is sorry. this fact or fishy? This is, this oh, is, this is question 15. Yes. Um, Wait, what? Fact or fishy? Fishy? Say it. <laughs> ah, he's a fishy. Uh, stories of sea serpents may be true after all, so it's a fact. Except that they're not monsters, but rare fish. Such stories probably originated from sightings of the oarfish, Regalicus glesni, which at 50 feet or 15 meters long, is the longest bony fish in the world, as pictured in the picture. Oh, okay. So there was a fish that looked like that. Yes. That's a bit crazy. 15 meters long. It's That's pretty cool. A very long. And Maybe uh, thank you. Hope it happened. The 15 meter fish? Yeah. yeah. I thought they were electric eels. Alright, so. Really, really long ones. Fact yeah, or fishy? Like Esther won that round. Huh? What? What do you mean? <laughs> this no. is a final question. Huh? Is it fact or fishy? Oh, that's Esther, Esther won, won the round. Is it fact or fishy? Guess, guys. <laughs> Abby, what do you think? <laughs> fishy? Do you, you want Esther? Fact or fishy? Fishy. All right, so the winner was Abby with nine, nine points. And in second place, we have Esther with six points. In uh, third place, we have no one because no one else is here. Well, not right now. Not at the moment, people are going to be So... That brings us. That's the end of that fact or fishy game. Yes, we hope you enjoyed that fact or fishiness. Um, and also the, the wonderful it. art. Please appreciate the art. It took a while to set up. Yeah. Very cool. Alrighty, right. So the theme for next week, guys, we're going to find out what it is. I don't even know what it get is. Key, get key, get key. Medieval! There we go. Here's a good Medieval. category. Ballad. Okay, guys, I expect you oh, all to be no. costumed next week. Yeah, every one of you guys. All of all. you. Yeah, I see Esther is doing a thumbs up. She's like, yeah. Abigail. Hey, hey Shay cannot miss out on next week's episode. No. He has oh, a sword. Who can, who can, he must he attend, no me. matter what. Yeah, he's got the whole outfit. Shebang oh. together. Or I don't know if that going to be worse than the sweatsuit or not. Oh, it can't be as itchy as the sand in the sweatsuit. I know, it's so itchy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the sand is just like... Uh, it's stuck in the suit. However, well, apart from the sand, they are quite comfy. It's just the sand makes it all... What's wrong with you? Okay, yours is this one. Mine. mine is like... Tired. Killing me. Slowly. Anyway.
Yeah. Um, right, well, um, now we're going to move on to our shitty. Cool. So I'm going to uh, go. The topic today is called. Wait a minute. Uh, that hurt. Anyway, the topic today is new life. How can I make the most of the rest of my life? I think this is a really good topic for us. Um, kind of like sometimes we know what we we want to do in our life and what to like how to make the most of our lives but it's always good to have a look at um what what the bible says about that um yeah i think it's a really interesting topic because we still are going to keep having the rest of our lives as time goes on and we we'll still want to do more things in it obviously um so it's good to have a talk about that yeah all right Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, um, now our theme for next week is medieval and we're going to have some more activities and games for you next week. Yeah. Um, it would be great if you could join us in the live group. So our alpha video won't be up on this video. Um, that's because it's easier that way and you can get the direct video if you just ask us. So just comment down below if you'd like it and we'll send it to you. And um, remember, like our Facebook page, join the group if you want to be part of the live discussion. And I think that's it for this week. Yeah. See you All next right. week. Bye, guys. Cool. Bye. Bye.